I know what's a twin flame. No, you no, don't even no, know what I you're talking about. Twin flame theory. What is a twin flame? I, I know. know. You don't know. Don't Your theory know is, is not right. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's bullshit. Whew. Language, Jack. Whew. So, um, we don't know about you, but we have gone through a lot of thought about what a twin flame theory is since before 2012, and it's brought up a lot of trigger in ourselves, and a lot of our fans have posted some really interesting conversations and sometimes even really mean conversations about mm -hmm. the twin flame theory. It's a triggering topic. It's a triggering topic. So mm -hmm. we wanted to hold space today to have a conversation about why the twin flame theory is actually not as important as we think it is and what is really more important. And so we don't go destroying each other in pursuit of some religion called twin flame. And it's a cult. It's we're a cult. We're all following this twin we're flame crazy. cult. If you're not following it, you're, you're a loser. Well, okay, so obviously Jack is joking. But there is some of that energy, which is like, if we don't get this twin flame theory right, if we don't find our true twin flame, then somehow we will like lose our whole soul purpose, we'll be mess ups, we won't get it right. Failure. Failure. And that's not really the highest intention of twin flame love, which is what? Love. love. Unconditional love. Divine yeah. love. Yeah. Beauty. Self love. Loving others. Compassion, caring. All that good stuff that the twin flame energy is meant and designed to, to do gets thrown out if we end up attacking each other because we have to figure out what the twin flame theory is and I know what the twin flame theory is and you don't know and my theory mm -hmm. is better than yours. And there's only one way, there's only one way that love can work in this particular way called the twin flame theory. And anyone else who's not agreeing with it is, is wrong or yeah, that kind of energy. We don't want to wrong anyone because when we wrong others, we are actually wronging ourselves. So anyone who, anyone who's wronging us, we're gonna kick your ass. No, just kidding. Anybody who's wronging anybody, like we send you love. It's all good. But probably what would be more effective for you if you have been um, wronging yourself for maybe not finding your twin flame or you're wronging others because their twin flame theory isn't as high as yours. Focus on what you can do, which will elevate the ascension process for your vibrational essence which is love. Like how can you in this moment with your twin flame conundrum, you found somebody and they heartbroke you or whatever it is, how can you put love into this moment unconditionally right now? Mm, yes, and I like how you said right now because really we only have this present moment right now. There's no twin flame in the future. Um, there's no like ideal um, life in the future. It's all right now and if you can focus, the more you can focus on what's happening right now. like okay, I'm lonely, or okay, I'm searching for my twin flame, what can I do to like fulfill myself in this moment? Like, what can I do to self care? How can I learn to love myself more? And what happens is when you focus on yourself and like getting what you want and uh, just taking what's showing up for you in your life, um, whether it's a, a new partner that you're dating that you think maybe your twin flame um, is just fully showing up for that without like expecting all this about Women it. never make a lot of expectations about an unknown relationship. No, we don't do that as twin flame women. We are so enlightened. We just know what's right. And actually, yeah, we kind of do go a little bit. It's our nature. Like we want to find our man, mate with him and have the baby. And that has created procreation cycles to allow us to survive. But I think what's really important here is yes, we only have the now. And at the same time, we can become very swept away in the fairy tale, the rapture of how now has made us feel. And when we can sometimes, um, where we go wrong a lot with the twin flame theory is we go, I know that person, I recognize them instantly, they're my twin flame. When really you recognize twin flame love, the energy, it's a harmony in some aspect with you. A vibration. A vibration sometimes similar to you it could even be a past life thing that feels very twin yeah. flame like because mm -hmm. you they killed you in a past life and your heart like exploded with anger and and at the time of your death you forgave them and then you're like ah, my twin flame and it's like no you're just meant to like set a boundary in this lifetime of what feels good what doesn't feel good sometimes it's twin flame love sometimes it's freaking twin flame counterfeit mm -hmm. rose gold flakes mm -hmm. in your eyeball and it burns yeah but whatever it is, whatever the labels are, soulmate, twin flame, 
soulmate relationship, twin flame relationship, uh, like those are all labels. Like we, us humans created those labels. Like putting all labels aside, like what we all want is unconditional love and then like an amazing partnership, and joy and passion uh, and to be on our purpose and things like that. So if we just focus on what's really important, which is those things that I just mentioned, uh, then everything unfolds for us. We don't have to worry about searching for our twin flame or finding our twin flame or uh, finding our all ideal job or That's easy finding our, for you our to say. sole purpose. Uh, it just all comes together. Uh, it may not be together right now, but it will if you just focus on that love and self-nurturing. And uh, Sometimes there's just an out of control drive that we have. And um, I don't know if this is the same for you, but as a woman, as a girl even, when I was four years old, like I wanted to meet my twin flame and I was always having crushes on guys going like, I wanna marry that guy, like I really want, I felt this emptiness, this longing, and I actually do know some of your story, we've talked about it. Mm -hmm. You're, it's not just women that do this. And um, while the moment is the only, the only thing that exists, the now, there's also, I feel like a lot of humans who are seeking their twin flame there's this emptiness this longing and it's easy to fill that longing with mm -hmm. theory like a yeah. religion that doesn't actually um enlighten you but you're studying the scripture and you're like learning about it in your head but you're not integrating it down into your lower chakras your heart and you know bringing it all the way into all parts of your being i think that in right before 2012 maybe a decade before 2012 when the twin flame theory got introduced in kind of our new earth community um we are we've been so hungry for twin flame love we've been feeling so separated that we kind of are holding on to these theories because we really don't know anything and mm. the thing is you can't know love you love love mm -hmm. that's all you can do with love mm -hmm. is you can love it and when you try and know it it's like okay i think i know love but when you really want to um deeply experience it you just have to be in a loving state so theories are great but to really know the twin flame theory i think you have to to be in it through love just experiencing love and so let's and love. be in the mystery of it be in the unknowing of like i have no idea what this is right now like i'm not like twin flame soulmate like what love like i, I don't even know what's happening right now or i don't even know how to deal with this situation with my woman like she's confusing me but it's great like be in the storm like be in the confusion and learn how to love yourself in in that mystery and get out of dysfunctional relationships with yes. partners who abuse you abandon you reject you tell you yeah. like i'm not available just go okay like i love myself enough to see that this is a very big sign of this is not for now um, and we will create another video up next on how to call in your twin flame by aligning with divine truth. I'm really excited to have you see it. Go ahead and subscribe for our videos. We got to wrap this one up and, uh, comment in the comment boxes below and we'd love to hear your questions and we'll respond to you as quickly as we can. And you can come to the new moon ceremony. If you are a twin flame woman, a woman who's seeking her twin flame and divine abundance in the form of anything, whether it be a six figure business or bliss or money so you can travel around the world and be in service give to charity come to moonifest with us uh jack won't be on there, youtube but... in the in the box below there's the link right there okay yeah. cool awesome thanks for joining us thanks guys high five